Pleasure to welcome you back to game two of our double header here. A gorgeous day. Shadows are still not even out to the home plate as our first pitch swinging is knocked down by the second baseman and made four to three. So we've got the third Piers town ball squad here. This is going to be the Brewers as they are the home side. And the first play is made by Stuckmayer on the 4-3 ground out as Matt Touches, the opposing pitcher, swings at the first pitch and is going to bring in the shortstop here, Lane Gertz. So a pleasure to be with you. I'm Dylan Corbett, wherever, however you may be joining us, Fox Local, YouTube channel, maybe you threw it up on the big screen. This is the Town Ball Tour on the Fox 9 app as well. So we've got a quick one ball no strikes count, and we're off and running a real quick first game in case you missed it and are just now joining us. It was a 7-1 win and near perfection flirted with all the way up until the eighth inning. 7-1 final there for the Lakers uh, overcoming their opponents in this uh, trifecta showcase of all three peer squads here and now last but certainly not least, the Brewers. 2-1, and one, one out, and the righty on the hill here, for the Brewers facing a Buckman Billy Goats lineup as this is fisted in off the hands. What a great read off the bat, and both plays have been made out in second. One on the ground. This one, a little soft liner almost down to no man's land, but that is hauled in on the run for a quick two out. So nice job here for the Brewers to start. Buckman Billy Goats made it deep in a state last year, and they're returning a lot of these guys. So here is going to be Noah Bozer hoping to be the first man to throw off the rhythm of the right-hander, and they're jumping on almost every first pitch as this is softly hit out to left. It's a long run, and it drops. He was playing so deep out in left field. It's going to fall on the pop-up for a bloop single, and Bozer just does just that with the two-out knock to get aboard here. So now it's going to be Ben Thoma, the third baseman, as he'll look to produce some RBI power here. They're going against number zero on the hill, right? Agent zero. You don't see that in baseball too much. He's going to work out of the stretch for the first time here. Pete Schaumer is going to bat ninth as well as toe the rubber here. First time out of the stretch and fouled. Caught a piece of him in on the inner half. Ben Thoma and 0 one, one count. So first pitch swing for Townshus, the opposing pitcher. He grounded out to second base. And then it was going to be the soft liner out to right field, which was caught also at second. And then a little bit more air underneath the bloop single out to left as here's a swinging strike. So it's the 4-3, the L4, and then the single. And Thoma with a quick two strikes on him. Bender that stayed up, it's one and two. Defensively for the Brewers, they've got a, a fellow Bozer out in right field. Lightning Frost is in center, is in and left. Crucials is at the hot corner, v is across the way over at the first base back, currently holding on Bozer, that's Noah Bozer, to Chuck, who's out in right. Opposing teams, we had that in the prior game. So it looked like a real quick inning, and then all of a sudden there was the bloop single, and now battling here one and two to the cleanup batter, who is going to strike out watching. That's going to paint the inner half. Nice work to make nothing of the two-out single, and that'll do it for the Buckman Billy Goats here in the top half of the first inning. No runs, a hit, no errors, and a runner left stranded at first base. We'll take a look at the Buckman defensive alignment as well as the Brewer lineup in the home side of the first here. You're in tune with Fox Local.
man, I live for this. You know, coming into town, great baseball town. There's, you know, well, you got three. You got three teams, right? So there's going to be a ton of baseball fields. And an unbelievable scene here. Again, the shadows still not really taking effect. The lights are yet to come on here as we're at Piers, their Legion ballpark, which uh, really makes great space for, of course, a wonderful town ball tour doubleheader. Here we go. It'll be righty lefty to start us off. Tout just who grounded out now toes the rubber. Looks like he works. I thought he was going to go to the stretch. He's kind of got like a little in-between look to him there. He's going to pump a fastball across for a strike. So nothing made of a two-out single as Thoma struck out looking. That's the only strikeout in the top of the first. Fastball's high. And this is Riley Roush, the shortstop, who's going to start for the home side. The Brewers looking to become the second Piers team victorious here tonight as we had the battle of the other two with the Lakers coming out victorious in wire to wire fashion 7-1 their winning pitcher also left the yard in our only home run of the day out to left field 370 to center I mean should be a relatively hitters park as speaking of hits this is shot out with the 2-1 pitch to left and the Brewers have come to play here against a very solid opponent in their their fellow league opponent as they will jump on the, fir the first at bat and get a single going for Gunnar Wicklin, the catcher. Back-to-back catcher, -back lefties to start against the righty, Tauchus, who does have kind of a similar look to his windup and stretch, but it's a little less leg movement here. He kind of turns himself now to the stretch. He's kind of three-fourth facing. If we get a chance to see him back, if he can get rid of this base runner, to his windup. He's set. He's got a nice little look to the bag. A couple of nods over there, and he'll fire home, and that is called low. So it's going to be 2 0. Oh. He's going to have to get around not only the leadoff single, but also the hitter's count here to the number two batter, Wickland, with Chuck Bozer looming on deck. And guess what? He's also lefty. This is shot out and carrying out to left field. Turning and looking. It's off the base of the fence. They're going to send the runner home. Trying to score from first. The throw is not in time. Great base running off the read of the bat. From third first to home is Riley Speed. Demon Roush the shortstop. And it's an RBI double for Gunnar Wickland. I would say about five feet from leaving the yard where we saw that home run out earlier in the prior contest. It's 350 out into eh, not even true left center. It's about a good 30 feet left of the scoreboard out in left. I would call the scoreboard left center. So it is kind of deep out there. I, you know, 345 to the opposing side for the signage as there is a strike. But how about this? It's a 1-0 lead for the home side. Team that are, made it all the way to the final four last year in Buckman is going to have to play from behind. This ball in the dirt, great block by Matt Comet, who is a sensational catcher. Long time head man on his team, also battery mate for... Almost every pitcher on the staff. Touches has his sign. No outs in the frame. A single, a double, and now a 1-2 count to the third straight lefty and Chuck Bozer. Nobody out. Hanging out at second. And this is off the end of the bat. It is going to be leaping grab, tumbling to rob a hit. A nice read at second. Didn't advance and playing a little bit in because he was shading for the pickoff potentially at second, but then making the leaping grab out in the shallow left field grass. That's going to be Lane Gertz for the first out of the inning. And now the first righty will show up. It's Phil Zinda.
pitch out. They're going to rip at the first pitch and just barely found if we get back. Excellent crowd on hand all throughout the evening. We got going at 5 o'clock. We were pretty much done uh, right after 7 o'clock in that matchup of the fellow Piers teams. And you could just argue everyone in town's out here today. It's uh, <laughs> you can tell the tight knit community here coming out to support one of the three teams here in the town of right around 1400. Fouling this one away, that caught the light, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like everyone's got a head on a swivel here too. We even even might need to. We haven't yet, but. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked if it's foul ball territory up here from time to time. 0-2, oh one out, runner on second. That's the RBI double from Gunnar Wicklund. And the 0-2, he blows the fastball by him. It's a strikeout. Each pitcher has one in the frame so far, and now it'll be Michael Mazurka. He's DHing for Preston Vyth, who's playing for, uh, first base. And as you know, with the town ball tour, you can expect a lot of defensive changes throughout the course of the contest for both teams as pitching changes are made as well. And this will be just a bit high. So first two batters reached an RBI attributed to the second hit. But then a leaping grab at short, followed by a strikeout swinging, and he's trying to keep it at just one. Fastball has got some steam behind it. It is watched for strike one. Our thanks to Ahmad Hicks for stopping by from the earlier game and the wonderful Fox 9 crew that was out here as well. They all threw out first pitches. Bender just misses. Comet liked it, but the... Umpire says it was just off the edge, two and one. Crucials is looking to try and get in that bat. Two one count ahead of him. Dancing out at second, draws Tauchus's glare, and he'll come home and fire ball three. It'll be three and one. Breaking pitch is fouled away. And it'll be full count, two outs. The runner will not get the head start. Being the lone man on the base pass out at second. First base open, you're not. We'll see if Town just tries to nibble, maybe a strikeout pitch. Ooh, he wanted it. He wanted it. He laid off. That is incredible hand strength as he'll keep it back. And it's just off the edge. And now first base will be occupied. First and second, two outs. So after the Zindike, Nazurka works a walk. And it'll be up to the third baseman, Crucials. To try and keep it going. If I'm not mistaken, we've got a view of Pierce High School out to our top right as this will do it for the inning two runners are stranded a hot shot almost up the middle but they were playing there with the two runners on and that'll be made for the final out of the inning nothing made of that late walk but one run on two hits no errors and two runners left stranded the home team leads it one nothing the rbi double from gunner wickland with nobody out scores roush all the way from first and has the brewers on top one to nothing
So Buckman trailing now, and they have been more than willing to chase after the first pitch here from the righty in Pete Schomer. This is going to be Jack Suska, the second baseman, who made that final out to get him out of the two runners on jam, but not before a run came across on the no outs double by Gunnar Wickland. But a nice job kind of settling out of that as this one's hooked foul. So a quick one two. Today we have seen no stranger to quick workers, which I love. Like, you know, you see the game of baseball kind of already tailoring to that, right? We've got the pitch clock. You see the news came, coming out where AAA is working the automated balls and strikes. We're about a decade too late from that, but at least they're starting some prog progression. But now pitchers growing up today, they just have tempo ingrained into them. 2-2. Two -two. And the results have paid off via data. I mean, the games are so much shorter now. As a high fly ball is out to center, camped underneath, and one out. Almost wanted to pop out of the mitt there, but it is hauled in and held on to by Mike Leidenfrost. Here's Matt Cummett with one away. After Suska. Lazily flies out to center. Yeah, 370 to straight away. Those, what are we, evergreens? I'm not a botanist, but uh, the trees out there in center field. There are some nice trees there on my way. Comet swings over the top of a nice off speed pitch. 0 and 2. Here comes our every other inning bath of smoke from the grill underneath, which I'm actually not complaining too much about. It smells delicious. Comet's got a 1 2 count. And he's going to square one up and find through the hole of the shift, which was on him. Shortstop was playing on the right side of second base, and Comet still shoots it through his his double playmate there, which they'll now line up and try and get going here with one out and coming aboard with the second hit for the Billy Gibbs. One thing I remember about Matt Comet doing games at State last year was – I. Talk about a warrior. He caught he caught back-to-back nine-inning games as the team's catcher is just grinding out behind. He's taking foul balls off his mask. He's shaking his head, saying, hey, let's keep going. And he's just he's just a baller, right, as he finds, doesn't try to do too much with that pitch, just shoots it out to where they're already shifting against him and still finds the hole for a single. He'll lead off first for the 0-1, and this is pulled. Hot shot. They're going to try and run two. Good throw to second for one. It's Taylor made 5-4-3. That erase is coming off the base paths. No runs. One hit. No runners left on because of the 5-4-3 double play, and it's two scoreless frames for the Brewers, and their right-hander, they'll look to add on to their one nothing lead as the bats retain back in their hands after this on Fox 9, Fox Local, and the Fox YouTube channel.
Here's Mike Leidenfrost, the center fielder, is going to lead off 7-8-9 due up for the Brewers, who put up one run on two hits in the bottom half of the first. So here we'll get another look at Tauchis' kind of three-fourths open stance windup. He really hides that pitch well, a lot of whip around with his delivery. Gets the call there, 0-1. Make it 0-2. Same spot, same call. Looking for a clean second inning. A hit in each inning for the Billy Goats, but they stranded a runner and then grounded into a 5-4-3 double play. That was Max Barclay. Oh, talk about being behind on a fastball. He was caught in between, and he blows the strike three pitch by him for his second punch out. Zinda and now Leidenfrost have gone down via the K, and here's Ryan Stuckmeyer the second baseman. It's got a real old school, old school grip to the bat. Check swing, and it's going to be a strike regardless. I mean, this thing's almost tapping him on the back of the shoulder. Whatever works, it's a base knock to right center. So the third hit, first time through the order, and it'll be Pete Schomer now. Trying to help himself out. He rounds out the order. Already three hits against the right-hander Tauches. And quickly right back to the stretch. Both lead off. Well, there's one out here. And this is going to get away. He tried to pick him off. Not sure if it caught him on the arm on the dive back in. Regardless, it's a free base on the first air of the game from either side. That's an E1 on the throwing air. On the pickoff, and a runner in scoring position with one out. So that wasn't a leadoff single. It was a single with one out after Lyden Frost struck out. Now Stuckmeyer is on, Stuckmeyer, I should say, is at second base after the throwing air on the pickoff. And this is foul back towards Logan Anderson's car. But it's all right. Thanks to Logan calling the first game the 7-1 win near perfection. So far, perfection off the table here. We've got five combined hits, but still the Billy Goats are being shut out through two and trying to keep another run off the board as maybe runs are at a premium today, or maybe they're not. So we've already got five hits as this is fouled back. No extra base. Uh, sorry, we did have an extra base hit on the RBI double from Wickland. That's the lone one so far. We've seen rocket singles. We've seen bloop singles. And in that double was about five feet from sneaking over the left field fence. And he was late on the fastball. That was nearly an oppo taco for Wicklin, the lefty. Dancing out at second. Pitch home. Did he call time? He did. And it was granted. So we'll stay at 0-2. Here's the pitcher. Schomer with an 0-2 count. He bats ninth. Tout just bats first. Lead off. Pitcher on pitcher. Crime here. It is one and two. Didn't chase the strikeout pitch. I think as a fellow pitcher, Schomer probably thought he's going to dump something in the dirt here to me. And he was wise to lay off. Now the one, two. Fastball, and he froze him. Chess match between fellow pitchers. It's the third punch out for Townches. And that's the second of the inning. It's his first backwards K. And the lone run scored belongs to this guy who showed off the speed, scoring from first on the double. He's going to take a second at bat. He scored because he singled to lead off the game. Rather, the home side of the first inning. Townshus with a look out to second. He's been back and forth, leading forward, leading back. They're showing him a little bit more attention now, but there's two outs and now two strikes. Shadow's just now starting to creep out to the near side foul line. 
wonder if maybe that's going to be an issue for batters over the next 40 minutes or so. Because it looks like the pitcher's mound might be completely under shade in the next 40 minutes or so, but I'm not so sure about the batter's box. As we'll find out together, as that is ball two and we're evened up. He surrendered a two-out walk in the first inning with this same scenario, first base open, runner on second. Here, this will be pulled the first base, but he won't be standing there because he has retired three unassisted. So they're going to strand a runner. It's still one nothing Brewers here in Piers with two innings in the books. This is Fox Local. So Roush now three unassisted on the ground out to end the inning. He's now one for two, but he scored the lone run. one nothing. that came back in the first inning. We move to the top of the third. And Pete Schomer, who struck out looking, he's back to work on his third inning of what he hopes is still scoreless baseball as he punches in a 1-1 count here to Joe Call. Travis is in the hall. A little slow roller that takes a funky hop at the end of that. Might have caught the lip of the grass, but it has been no trouble at second so far for Ryan Stuckmeyer, who's got a single at the plate and now three putouts at his position. Here's Andrew Ruckert. It's the number eight man in the lineup. And he'll swing at the first pitch like the Billy Goats love to do, one through nine. It's a foul tip strike. Out to second. That has been... <laughs> Easy pickings over at second base. Another play. He's already got four putouts now. We're not even through two and a half. And Stuckmeyer is going to make another put out. Getting those lefties out in front, driving that ball, pulled to second base. We saw two putouts there in the first, already two here in the third, and now it's going to be up to Townshus. As we're back at the top of the order, I'm sorry, Travis Call was not in the hole. That's because he's being DH'd for, but he is playing out in right field. So after Joe Call grounds out, and then Ruckert grounds out, here's the second at bat for Tauchus, who, you guessed it, already has a ground out to second. 0-1. Evened up at two. Run. 
on full. This would be our first one, two, three frame. That will not be the case. 3-2, saw a pitch he liked, and that caught a little bit too much play, and I guess he did have to throw it across with the full count pitch. Could have nibbled, chose not to, and Tout just made him pay, and Gertz will try and keep the line moving. So three singles for the Billy Goats. They've matched the three hits of the Brewers, however, they do not have the run to match them. There's a strike on the outside corner. I mean, Schomer works fast. Real squatted stance here from Gertz, and he'll just fake the throw and take a look over, see if Town just wants to do some running with two outs. Right back to the mound. Nearly lost his balance. Somehow had the wherewithal to get the glove down. <laughs> kind of planted that foot off the back of the mound. Started his charge over to first where he makes the 3-1 put out to retire Lane Gertz, who is now 0-4-2. The Brewers have three scoreless innings from their righty and hold on to a 1-0 lead here as they'll bat in the bottom side of the third here in Pierce. There's the offense so far. It's Gunnar Wickland, his RBI double back in the home side of the first. Has his Brewers on top, and he'll bat 2-3-4 here in the lineup for the second time. Bozer who lined out with a leaping grab by Lane Gertz is on deck, and then Chuck, uh, excuse me, and then Phil Zindo struck out the cleanup batter is in the hole. Should anyone reach, Nazurka will bat, who is officially 0 for 0 with a walk. 1-0, the count after the first pitch. And this is sauced out to short. Good read off the bat. Throws a little high, but they've got a tall man on the bag over at first base. That will be hauled in by Joe Call on the play by Gertz at short. So Wickland is now one for two. First time they've retired him, one out in the inning. No runs, three hits, and air for the visiting Billy Goats. One run, three hits, no errors for the Pierce Brewers. 6-3 on the put out. Here is Chuck Bozer taking a strike. I think I just overheard there was a threat of rain. That is apparently no longer the case. Fingers are crossed. I just knocked on wood, and so far, so good. Foul ball here, 0-2. Three strikeouts first time through the order. For Tauchis, and make it four is first the second time through the order. He's got Bozer for the first time swinging. Three strikeouts swinging, one looking. That was his fellow pitcher counterpart, if you will, Schomer. And looking for the first one, two, three frame here for the Billy Goats and Townshus. 
He'll look to put away Phil Zinda, who is one of his four strikeout victims. Bender at the knees. I think they just called that low. They did, 1-0. We're moving so quick, they're getting ready for the seventh inning stretch. The smoke has returned. And speaking of quick, it is a one, two, three frame for Matt Tauchis. We're moving right along here in the second of our double header on Fox 9, the Fox app, Fox Local, YouTube channel. Maybe you got us on the big screen. Hope you're enjoying it. Buckle up. We're heading to the bottom of we're heading to the fourth, is what I meant to say. Talk to you there. The Town Ball Tour continues here. We're pleasure to bring it to you here. Dylan Corbett for the top of the fourth. And a first pitch strike as Schomer is into his fourth inning of work. Scoreless baseball for him so far. He scattered three hits. Got a double play to erase one base runner. And now a pitch low uh, for a one and one count. Noah Bozer. Watches a pitch up at the letters. Two and one. It'll be Thoma on deck. And then Suska. The hit so far is feeling a squeeze for three and one. Belonged to Tauchus. That came in his second A.B. Noah Bozer singled in his first A.B. He's going to look for something to hit here. Three one. It's a likewise bouncer to second. Man, Schomer knows how to pitch to contact. He's got his defense behind him. And he's pitching the ground outs right now as he has just the one punch out. It has been all soft contact in the three singles. Here's the one strikeout. And it was looking. And I think if you asked him, Thoma wouldn't have agreed. But he'll step. In with a quick out. Five put outs made at second base. Four have been ground outs, and then there was that no man's land soft liner that was pretty nifty running grab out there. Made by Stuckmayer. Sounds like a little bit of a broken bat off the end. Guess who caught it? It's a six put out at second on another soft bloop liner. This time a basket catch. I could just see through the smoke with two outs. I mean, it's not just that he's mowing through the lineup. The pitch count's staying down. Six put outs for Stuckmatter at Second, he won't be able to get this one. This is twisting into the corner. What a grab! A read off the bat and hustle down in left field. He's got a defense behind him, indeed. Phil Zinda tracks that one down, and Schomer struts off the mound without a doubt. He's got four shutout frames under his belt, and the Brewers lead it one nothing. Bottom of the fourth after this.
going to be Mike Nazerker here leading things off in the bottom of the fourth. A uh, one, two, three frame for Schomer. And Touch is coming off one of his own, his first in the bottom of the third. He'll deal with the bottom of the fourth now and start with strike one. Dribbler foul, first base side. So quickly 0-2 to the leadoff man. Going to exchange baseballs here after that roller on the dirt down the first base line. Gunnar Wicklund's RBI double all the way back in the first. Heads up. Oh, boy. Oh! And it caught the top of a van. Actually might have taken a lucky trajectory. A couple of kids tracking that down. I love the foliage here. Got a great backdrop for a ballpark. Strike three called. Tout just paints the outside corner. Looks like signaling Nazurka thought that was low. If anything, I thought that was maybe outside. But regardless, it hit the spot that Comet was set up for. And more times than not, that's going to get the call. And that's strike three looking. Tauchus already into his next windup. He fires, jumping on the first pitch. This is out into the gap. Center fielder read it off the bat perfectly. Cuts it off in right center. And it's hauled in for a quick two outs. Ruckert's first play out in right center. And here's Leiden Frost. So five punch outs now, second looking for Townshus. Crucial's just lined out to center. And Leiden Frost is one of the five strikeout victims. They've been all different victims. It hasn't doubled up on anyone yet. This is in the dirt. And then just the one strikeout for Schammer, but he's just he's just pitching a contact. Heck of a play made out and left to conclude the last inning. Last half frame, I should say, is that'll be in there for a called strike. It's one and one. So Line and Frost went down cutting his last time. He's got a one-one count here. Town just into the one-one. And foul tipped held in onto strike two regardless. And he'll look for a second punch out of the inning, sixth of the contest through four. But he's on the hook for the L so far. As he'll look to his offense, him included, he leads off. A little chin music here, two and two. And he is, for what it's worth, one for two. He's one of the three singles put out there by the Billy Goat offense. The right-hander. Got a swing and a miss. Six punch outs and now the first two strikeout man. Mike Leidenfrost down to end the inning. It's a one, two, three frame. Seven straight retired for Townshus who's starting to settle in but needs his offense to help him out. They're down one. Piers the home side leading one nothing. Their RBI double back in the first of the difference as we move into the fifth after this.
The shadows don't seem to be too bad. Maybe it's a different answer from the batters, but kind of just sprinkling out towards the infield now. Here's Comet, who's one for one. He's going to watch a ball. He's a catcher. He knows the strike zone like the back of his hand. And after a line single, he's got a hold of this one. Turning, looking. It's a moonshot to tie it. Comet drills one out to right center. A no doubter off the bat. A quick turn and look from center fielder Mike Leidenfrost. And we got a whole new ball game, folks. It's the manager going deep. Comet, two for two. A single, a rock shot single, and now a no doubt blast. It's the second home run of our doubleheader, first of this game, as Comet now as the home team back level at one. First pitch swinging to the next batter. Nice lunge by the third baseman. This is a high throw. What a play by the first baseman. Full foot in the air above the bag. Comes back down in time and saves the throwing air as Comet goes deep and making an early bid for possible player of the game, but it's anyone's game still. 1-1 now here in the top of the fifth. So Barclay's gotten some tough luck here. He's hit two hard hit baseballs, one right at the third baseman, 5-4-3 double play. And then this one, almost a little to the third baseman's left and still making a nice lunge off the read and then nearly throwing it away by Crucials. A high bounce, eats up the first baseman. It's knocked down on the infield grass. We'll have to see what they call this as that took a weird bounce off that infield dirt and they're going to give him a hit. So that is the fifth hit of the game for the Billy Goats as that will be a single for Joe Call. And to finish my point, two well-hit baseballs, two putouts. That's the game. Sometimes you can't buy a hit and sometimes you're Matt Cummins and everything off the bat is finding either green grass or someone's car over the right field fence. So a runner on first. Billy Goats have not led in this game. We're getting smoked out by the grill right now, but we're staying here for you. So here's number nine batter, Rucker. She got the 0-2 count. Hold one to second is first A.B. And it'll be Tauchus who's one for two on deck with one out. Served out to left. Will it stay up? It won't. It takes a one hop right in front of the left fielder. Throw in the third. Holds the runner as everyone moves up. And a hit now. The sixth of the game for the Billy Goats starting to find their form here against Schomer. Top of the order, not before a conversation between battery mates. Schomer saying, let's do that 5-4-3 thing again like we did earlier in the second. Got him out. Of that inning, can it get him out of the fifth? So back-to-back -back singles, it went homer. Hot shot ground out to third, and now back-to-back -back knocks. And still in the top of the fifth with one out. Now one run, six hits. The earlier throwing error on a pickoff attempt didn't really turn out to bite him. And now all of a sudden, the Billy Goats, as that is a pitch up, 1-0, have one half the hits that Buckman does. Sorry, the Brewers have one half the hits of the Billy Goats. That'll be in there. One and one. This is hard hit. Deep out to right field. Another quick watch. 
three run bomb and a backflip. The pitcher, Matt Touches, three run nuke out over the right field fence, even further than his teammate Comet. And he's got three ribbies to his name. What a turn of events in the top of the fifth. Touch them all, a bat flip. Touches his second hit. And he has now propelled himself in line to the victory on the mound. It's 4 1. I mean, there are some quick turns and watches here on the two bombs in this frame. It was soft contact for four innings. It is now exit velocity Palooza for the Billy Goats in the fifth. Cummins leads off with a bomb. Next was a hard hit ground out. Single, single, mound visit, three run homer. And now subsequent mound visit. Lane Gertz will look to keep it rolling through the lineup. Four, one, all four runs. In this frame, all four runs thanks to a pair of homers. Solo, three run. And a tomahawk will just stay fair at will. Deep throw is picked out. Great work by the hot corners to link up for the second out of the inning as they will retire Gertz as he has a 0 for 3. And now it's Noah Bozer who's 1 for 2. Single back in the first with two outs. And then he grounded out in a two second, a second at bat, jumping on the first pitch, foul back. So now Touches, his three-run bomb has untied us. It's the first Buckman lead. And a bouncer in, one and one. Looks like we might have a run rule and a perfect game in that earlier game between two peer squads. The Lakers becoming victorious 7-1 to in wire-to-wire fashion. But they, were, they had their seven runs in the first four innings. And it looked like they were just going to keep piling on. And then all of a sudden the relief work was able to quiet them, but they could not get any offense. So the fireworks inning ends with a strikeout swinging. Just the second punch out of the game for Schomer, who finally has all that contact come back to bite him. Two home runs in the inning. Comet solo shot the lead off the frame. And then an even more emphatic bomb from fellow pitcher Matt Touches. It's now 4-1, Billy Goats here in Piers. Stuckmeyer swings at the first pitch, and it's going to be a long throw. He beat it out. Yeah, it was a weird route to the baseball there. He was backing up. He took a diagonal route instead of cutting it off. Maybe he had to because it was a hard shot, but unable to make the play at second with Suska. And that will be the fourth hit of the game on the infield single. Leadoff man aboard for Schomer, who's now on the hook for the loss. Stuckmeyer's got two singles now to his name, trying to help out his teammate and pitcher here. Um, the Fox 
He's got a huge lead at first. Strike at the kneecaps, 0-1. Schulmer got frozen with a fastball. He was looking breaking pitch after he watched one in the prior pitch. And there's the throw. That is not in time. Close on a bang-bang play. So all four runs in the top of the fifth for Buckman. All via the homer. Comet let off with a solo bomb out to right center. And then the second three-run bomb by Talchis was pulled deeper and a little bit more right. Here's another chance at second. Only one play. It is made. 4-3. And the runner advances to second as Schomer's retired. And it's the top of the order for Riley Rausch, who singled and scored the lone run for the Brewers back in the first. He led off the home side of the first with a single, raced around and scored on an RBI double from Gunnar Wickland, who stands on deck. He's going to see an at-bat this inning. Should anyone reach, so would Chuck Bozer. Touches has got to be feeling jacked up after launching a bomb. Now this is maybe a little bit too jacked up. That was off the mark on a fastball that got away. And now a runner to third with one out. Touches talks with his man, says, my bad. Looks like it might have been a cross-up. So they try and get on the same page. Count just 1-1, one, one, one out, runner on third after the wild pitch. Shadows are basically all out on the field. Lights are on now. Guess I can shed the shades. They're going to check on the count here. Yep. Or it's one and. Yeah, it's one and oh. I think the umpire just said on the clarification. Now it'll be two and oh. So four runs, seven hits, one error, which really didn't hurt them at all for the Billy Goats. One run, four hits, no errors, but they're trying to bring around that fourth hit from third. Chasing the high cheddar. Two and one. Dropped the arm slot a little bit and pitch fell out the bottom as well beneath the zone. Watched for three and one. Not the end of the world if you walk him here with one out. Well, it would bring up the time run to the plate on a day where the ball seems to be flying out of the yard but you could also get the inning-ending double play. And it is coming to focus here on the walk. That is the first walk issued, sorry, second walk issued from Touches. Second time aboard for Roush, and here's the RBI man, Wicklin, looking to do damage. So yeah, not a guy you want to invite up to the plate with ducks on the pond, but here we are. First pitch. Strike one. Wickland, the catcher, with an 0-1. His double was very close to leaving the yard, opposite field out to left. It's now 1-1. One and one. Looking for something to drive. He was late on that fastball, but he got enough barrel on it, and it's so fast from Touches that went all the way to the fence. The 1-1 is too far outside. You can tell he's trying to be a little bit careful. Oh, nasty. Off-speed pitch had his helmet fall off on the swing and miss. Two and two. Yeah, the field's immaculate. I mean, shout out the grounds, creeping, uh, grounds crew here. Just 
downpour, it seems like, for the last two weeks, especially last night, at least by my place. He is going to bloop this out. It's dunking for a hit. It's going to try and score the runner home. What a hose home, but it's a little bit off the line. And it'll be an RBI bloop single off the end of the bat. Second RBI for Wickland, who's trying to will his team back in this one. It's 4-2. Here's Bozer, who's 0 for 2. Four two, bottom five. Fifth hit of the game against Townchus. He's got a three-run home run himself at the plate. Now he's trying to preserve that lead. Foul back. Bozer uh, robbed of a hit on a little blooper out to shallow left. Taken away by Gertz. Then he struck out swinging. Behind 0-1. Tout just slowing things down a little bit more ever since that cross-up. There's a strike. And now think about that, too. That wild pitch might still be at third right now on the bloop. But alas, we're at 4-2. It's... 0 oh, and 2 the count, and we're at first and second with one out. Righty peeks back. Deals high, 1 and 2. It's gotten a few guys to chase that high fastball, not here. <laughs> we went back to it. And, man, it took some wherewithal to not go all the way around for Bozer. It's two and two. That's the chess match of the batter pitcher. I love it. Two, two. What does he go to here? Your back-to-back eye-level fastballs. Off-speed pitch. A little dribbler to third. They might get two. It's slowly hit, and he's going to beat it out. So they'll make the fielder's choice 5-4 at second. They'll be on the corners with two away. As Bozer reaches on a fielder's choice. So here's Phil Zinda. Tying run is now on at first. Saw some decent speed to beat out the double play. I wonder if they try and take second here. Bozer at first. This is his first time on base, so we haven't really seen his lead. It looks like he's thinking about something. We'll see if they have the sign on for that or not. 1-0. You want to take care of that early in the count. He stays put, and it's 1-1. One and one. Cummins is a very solid defensive catcher. He has not been tested yet, and that could be part of the scouting report too. Do they really want to test this guy with two outs and a runner on third? One one just caught a piece. One and two. One, two with two outs. Twins are in action today, if I'm not mistaken. Last time I checked, they were beating the Rays at home. We chatted with Ahmad Hicks earlier of Fox 9. He pretty much put it perfectly. I mean, it's tough when all of a sudden the Royals get good, right? They, now the Twins have overtaken them, but all of a sudden the AL Central is a little bit more tougher than the cakewalk last year. And the Twins were nine games above 500. They're still games and games out of first, currently held by the Guardians. Two and two. But the Rays are scuffling right now. And the Twins will look to lap that up. As this will run full. It's 
going to send our guy at first loose. Three, two, runner takes off first to second. It won't matter. He'll head back to the dugout. Disagreement at the plate, but again, he struck out looking on that nicely placed fastball on the outside edge. Called strike three. It's punch out number seven for Touches. Have yourself a day. He's in line for the victory on the mound, in part because of his three run homer at the plate. We're through five here in Piers. What a nightcap for our doubleheader. It's a good one. We head into the sixth. It's 4 2 right now. Lead changes. So far for both sides, right now it's the Billy Goats on top, and they bat next. So here's Thoma, who's 0 for 2 so far. This will be his third plate appearance. A strikeout looking and then a liner to second. Soft pitch upstairs. So Schilmer will look to forget that fifth inning, which saw him taken deep twice for a total of four runs, a solo and a three run. And this is pulled into the hole deep. It stopped. I don't know if he's got the arm strength for this. He won't. That is a very tough play, only... Maybe Derek Jeter and Garnett could make, and that'll be an infield single. Jeter, of course, still with us, but I don't think he's making those plays at 55 anymore. Maybe in celeb softball. They've had no trouble getting the showman here in the late innings. You know, everyone kind of has a longer leash. In town ball, they have more limited arms than a full 25-man MLB roster. So these guys have leashes, but you start to think about things a little bit more when you get to those four or five runs allowed. And I always like to think about 10 hits, too, because it has been a lot of scattered hits, but now that the ball is leaving the yard, you don't want to give up too many base runners on top of that. So far, a leadoff single here, and it's the first for Th Thoma. As Suska now has the 1-1. And he'll send this out to center. Looked like it sounded like it was a little bit off the end of the bat. In fact, he's looking at his bat right now as that'll be a fly out to center, which he has done twice already. Here's Comet, who can't seem to be retired. A single. He started the home run party. And now he is looking to do more. I mean, is it too early for cycle watch? That's outside. It's time he'll watch the same pitch, catch the plate. One one. Ooh, in tight. Has him turn out of the way. Two and one. Lead off single and then fly out to center. And now the two one to come it is low. It'll be three and one. And you know he's looking for something to drive. I mean, yeah. 
you don't want to pitch around them in a 4-2 game with a runner already on, but I don't think you want to miss over too much plate here. And this is it, out to deep right. He's tossing the bat. It clanks off the light fixture. His third hit, his second homer, a 3-1 curveball. Can't even get by him. Come in, trots again. 6-2. That was a laser. You don't see this stat line too often. Single, homer, two run, homer. That was onto the other field. And this is down the line. Fair. That catches the chalk. It sits in the grass, but will just hold to a single. As now it is followed up here by Max Barclay, the man who can't catch a break, finally gets one. It's a single right down the line. Fair. He won't get robbed of a hit there. He's standing at first. Comet. <laughs> We've seen some bat flips. We've seen some moonshot homers that was just a laser i mean i guarantee we don't have the exit velocity on our supposed leader i don't think stack has to set up i'm calling it 110 how about this one deep out to right center it is off the base of the wall real bad jump this is not good base running i guess did look like it would have been caught but that is about the longest hard hit single i've seen off the base of the fence in right center and that's all it will be as he stayed put at first barclay and the second hit is now Schomer's really getting lit up here. It's like that Bugs Bunny meme. Everyone's just walking around the base paths hitting as that'll be the 10th hit. I think they're trying to get call off the base paths after that. And they are. So they weren't happy with him just being at second there. And they're going to come get him. I think that's Matt Cummins call if I'm not mistaken. So it's going to be Reese Young pinch hitting out in front looped foul. Pitch above the letters. Three home runs responsible for all six tallied on the scoreboard. Coming as two bombs, a solo and a two-run homer. And then his pitcher, Matt Townchus, has a three-run homer. He is on deck as this is chop foul. And it's going to be one and two. First and second. So Ruckert singled right after Barclay single after the two run, <laughs> two run shot that still has people in the crowd picking up their mouths off the floor. A swinging strike is going to finish. I'm sorry, that is going to finish Ruckert. And now here will be Tauchus. So that was Barkley who got pinch run for at second. So overheard like they were trying to take call out. No, he's at first still. So Barkley to DH, so it's not out of the ordinary to take, you know, he's not known for his running per se. So they do make the move, but 0 oh and 1. Now to Tauchus, who has left the yard himself. And it was in this very same fashion with two runners on base. Two outs. 0-1. Schomer out there wearing it. And gets him over the top of an off-speed pitch. He took something off. Ground out to second. Single. Homer. It was like he was just lining up each A-B. Figuring out his opponent each step of the way.
Now Schoner fires high, and he doesn't have a single walk. He's a strength thrower. And the Billy Goats have been more than willing to swing at appetizing pitches. This should do it for the end of another fireworks inning, courtesy of Matt Comet, single, homer, homer, three RBIs on the day. And he has now got the Billy Goat lead back up to four. It's 6-2, 10 hits for Buckman. And it's going to be Townsend who just bounced out to end the inning back on the hill for his sixth inning of work. Looking for a quality start coming up after this. This is the Town Ball Tour on Fox Local. Thanks to those of you checking us out on YouTube and on the Fox 9 app. Here's Mike Nazurka, who will lead off for the Brewers in the bottom of the six. Two runs and five hits for Piers. And this is popped on the infield. Caught by the shortstop running in, Gertz. Not the easiest of plays. I thought that was, if that fell, that was a hit. So he's going to make the play in on the infield grass. You can see Talchus kind of. He wanted to make a play on that. It looked like for a second he was the only one that may have been able to make a play on it, and then flying in is Gertz. And now retires Zerka. So now it's Crucials, who's 0 for 2. Has a strike against him to start. And Talch just once more has a four-run lead. Oh, and now Gertz this time can't make the play. It's another one of those in-betweeners. It was deep in the hole. I don't even know if he would have had a real chance of throwing him out, and he's going to look up at the screen, and he'll see the H put up. That's an infield hit. First hit for Crucials. Here's Frost. So there's only been one 1-2-3 one, inning for Townches. He was on the hook for the loss when it was 1-0 before he hit a three-run home run himself and gave himself the lead and then surrendered one more run and then had his battery mate hit his second home run of the game in Matt Cummett. You can see why Buckman is year in, year out, just such a force in the state. 2-0. And they have not done any testing on the base paths of Comet yet. Which adds to his aura. A little fake run at first, right, as I say that. Look at the frame job. Does a little bit of everything. 2-1 on the strike. Crowd hanging on. Watching a good one here. It's been capacity from 5 o'clock on, uh, as this is off the end of the bat, it's going to stay up there for the right fielder to haul it in. Travis Call playing exclusively in the field. And I believe that's his first put out, actually, in right. So finally seeing some action. Here's Stuckmeyer, who's been a thorn stuck in the Billy Goat side. He's two for two, both singles.
pitch high. 1 0, two outs. We're in the home side of the sixth. Six run, 10 hits, one error for Buckman. Two runs, six hits for Pierce. Lakers victorious earlier, and now a swinging strike. Brewers were on top early. Now we'll look to erase another four run deficit. Yeah, did that catch? Looks like it caught our umpire. So every veteran move from Comet to go make sure everything's good. And we've got just a field of tough guys out here. As he's already ready, our own play umpire for the next pitch. He'll stand back in. The 1-1. One, one. I, for one, could not be an umpire, specifically home plate as well. One, I was terrible at it. Two, I don't think I'm tough enough. There's a strike. I would be the first guy to be like, give me the earpiece. I, I want you to, somebody to tell me what's a strike in the ball. I'll, I'll take that. I'll make the signs, but I don't think other umpires would be so forthcoming as I would be. Pitch down. Then I would find a way to mess up safe and out at the plate. So that's why I'm up here. 2-2. Two -two. Just misses. Full. Full count pitch. That'll turn our runner at first loose. They're not even going to hold him on. There he goes. Bouncer. Gloved nicely at third. Toss and a nice play over at first to go in between the lines in front of the runner and make the play on the other side of the foul line. So nothing made of that base runner. It's the fourth zero put up and a quality start for your current pitcher in line for the victory and Matt Tauchis. We've just got three innings left of baseball, folks, here from Piers. Been a wonderful night. Come stick it around and close it out with us for the top of the seventh after this. This is Fox Local. All right, so we've got our first pitching change of this one. As it's going to be 2 3 4 due up for the Billy Goats. Here's Lane Gertz, who uh, gets greeted by our new right hander with a bruise on the back. It's going to be a runner on first via the hit by pitch. Actually, the first of our contest here in the second of our doubleheader coverage here on the Fox 9 app, YouTube, Fox Local. And the new pitcher makes it easy on me. It's just a straight left field to pitcher switch. This is Phil Zinda, who comes in from left. Schomer heads out to left. His final line as that misses. In line for the loss, six innings, six runs, ten hits. All runs were earned. And now he's on the hook for the loss. Zinda comes in. His first pitch finds the back of his 
man at the plate, and this is going to hook foul now as stepping in is Bozer. So fourth plate appearance now, fourth time through the lineup for the Billy Goats here in the seventh. That'll happen when you have ten hits on the board. And Tal just ended the inning. He's two for four, single three-run homer. Now 0 for 3 is Gertz, but he just reached for the first time the hard way. This is shot out, hooking foul the other way. So he was early on one, now he's late on one, and it's 1 and 2. But now with that said, we haven't seen much running on the other side for the Billy Goats as they have failed to really try and test. Gunnar Wickland, who is also in the damage offensively. He's got both RBIs, one in the first, one in the fifth. He'll set up for the one-two. Adding to the list of things I couldn't do, that was play catcher. I just could not understand the physics of guys swinging through the ball, trying to catch it with the guy swinging in front of my face. This is drilled, but backing up and making the catch. Not fooling this time. How about that? Schomer put into left field and immediately... Showing his worth there. He's well positioned defensively. Makes a great off the backs. bat, that is. Starts backing up, and he makes a play. I was a little fooled because I saw it's a little bit chillier now, too. But a ball hit like that earlier in the game flew all the way to the fence. There it was about a good 12 feet shy of the track. So maybe a little bit more off the end. Zinda gets his first batter retired. And now here is Ben Thoma. So Bozer is now one for four. And this is hit high out to left field, but that is starting to get knocked down. Well, it was kind of like a low 70s, high 60s day. I mean, it's probably low 60s now maybe. Maybe having a little bit more effect on the baseball. And Schomer's just playing deep out there, so he's, he's seeing ball fly all over the yard from firsthand experience. So he's helping his guy out by playing deep out and left, and he's made two straight plays. So here's Suska now. Takes inside corner. Suska, one of the lone Billy Goats, still searching for a hit. High fastball, 63 now, yeah. I tell you, it's only getting hotter, but I do love the lack of humidity here. I feel like there's one week in August. Here's our first chance at a runner, and the hit and run was gone, uh, was on, that is. It's a foul ball, one and two. Those, I mean, we're not even in summer yet, right? That's in a couple of days, but I'm sure we'll get hit with the heat wave that is annihilating the Midwest and now East Coast throughout the U.S. this week. But we've been spared. We've got all the rain, right? But. Not too many days like today. It is perfect out. Athletic move by Wickland. Two and two. Curious to see what Tauchus's final three innings look like. Two runs, six innings. He's got his quality start. This is hit high and deep out to right center, but it'll be caught just before the track in right center. And yeah, now the ball's starting to die a little bit more out in the outfield here in Piers. It's been a bit since a zero's been put on the board. It's a no score for the reliever, Zinda. The righty who comes in makes nothing out of the first pitch hit batter as he'll get three straight flyouts to conclude the top half of the seventh.
So staying in the game to bat and now taking over in left field after his six innings of work. It is Schomer watching a pitch up. Tauchus working on inning number seven. And the ball evades him on the way back from the catcher. Real nice pink sunset we enjoyed here in Piers. Wave and a miss. One and one. Schomer still looking for something offensively. Maybe here it is. It's right at the shortstop. 6-3. So fourth time through the order now, it's Riley Roush who is one for two with a walk and a single. Also a run scored. Two runs scattering six hits. Tauchus and now could get a real quick two outs here in the seventh. First pitch swinging for the top of the order, and that retires Riley Roush. Three unassisted over at the bag at first for Joe Call. And now just seven outs to work with here for the home side. Here's the offense for the Brew Crew. It is Gunnar Wickland. RBI double, RBI single, and a ground out. This is how you want to attack him with no runners on. He'll take a pitch low. That was a pretty nasty slider. <laughs> Good discipline to watch that one. That's either a ground out to the right side or foul tip. He's going to bring the bat down and launch it. Does it have enough? It sure does. It is a home run to dead center. His third RBI of the game. This time he leaves the yard. I was talking about cycle watch for Matt Cummett. It's now officially on for Gunnar Wickland. A triple shy of the cycle. He's left the yard. He's trying to fire up his squad here saying we're still in this. One man could produce three. How about the rest of us? And now Tauchus's inning, rather his outing, how it will end becomes a bit more of intrigue. He was cruising through seven innings. Now it's down to three again in terms of the lead. Is there some two out magic? Four home runs hit today. It's three from the Billy Goats in this second game. Five total from today here in Peters on our coverage of the double header. But it is now Comet with two. It is Wickland with one and Tauchus with one here in this offensive output. 6-3. And now good A.B. jumping out in front. 2-1 for Bozer who's still looking for his first hit. And he'll foul this. Two, two. Looking for a new baseball here. So Wickland doubled home a run in the first. It gave the lone lead to the Brewers. He then, after they trailed 4-1, got him back on track. An RBI single that made it 4-2, and now 6-2. This isn't going to be a very easy play. It's going to be bobbled on a slow roller over the pitcher's mound, dying on the infield grass. That's good for a hit. And two-out magic coming together here for the Brewers. A home run, a single, the first for Bozer. And now here's the current relief pitcher, Phil Zinda, trying to help out his cause.
So they're going to get Jared Procott running at first. He'll take over for Bozer, the right fielder. Touch is trying to get out of the seventh. Lays off one and one. Pulled foul. One and two. Family ties. Comment right now is being overlooked over his various shoulders by his uncle. Don't play an umpire. Our base umpire is Brewer's manager's father. And there are a lot more ties, I'm surely, leaving out. But we have to because that's a swinging strikeout. Touch is now up to seven punch outs, but he's upset with himself from giving up a solo home run. Gunnar Wicklund can't do it all himself. He's got all three runs, a triple shy of the cycle. He's hit the fourth home run of our ball game. 6-3, we're through seven, just two innings to go here from a beautiful night in Piers. I mean, we are maybe a little bit tongue-tied for who might win player of the game coming up here on the Town Ball Tour, continuing another wonderful week of summer here in the great state of Minnesota. I'm so used to saying Twin Cities. We're a little bit farther out there here. We're in man's country out here, small-town America, 1-0. Women are born and welcome as well, of course. But the 6-3 lead here for the Billy Goats didn't start their way. They trailed 1-0 until the home run ball launched twice off this man's bat. Matt Cummett, I did not think he would see a pitch there on 3-0. He will get the... <laughs> uh, it's the unintentional, intentional walk on four pitches there for Matt Cummins. He will take first base. And they still have not been able to get him out, but I do not think they wanted to give him a chance at Reggie Jackson's four home run record. Even three, they're just going to walk him on four pitches. But that puts a runner on base, and they've immediately pinched ran for him. And a decent lead just underneath this one. It is out to shallow right. Somebody's got to call it. And it's going to fall in and then carry him off the shin of the oncoming right fielder, which allows the runner to go first to third. And that's going to be a hit. Running in to try and make the play out in right. Jared Procott has taken over in right. It, that's the right fielder's ball, but then he couldn't get there. He was looking at the second baseman because he kind of felt him, and it drops on top of his shoe tops, and now it's 
first and third with good heads up running there from Lucas Ott for the Billy Goats who pinch hit or pinch runs rather for Comet. And well out in front of this one, Joe Call swings over to top 0-1. front again foul ball lights taking full effect here in the top of the eighth with nobody out, runners on the corners, and this is Paul. He's starting to line that up. Three straight foul balls. Well fell at the plate. That one just trapezing the foul line, foul to the right. Inside. Two. Pop foul, we'll do it again. This gets out of play. How about this? We've got three home runs combined by the catchers, Comet and Wickland. And we've had four home runs hit by battery mates. It's Tauchis, the pitcher, left the yard. Nobody out. At the corners, one, two. High, and the battle continues here for Joe Call. Call had the long single that went all the way to the right center field fence, but the base runner in front of him failed to move, and now he goes down swinging for said fences for the first out. That's a big out, three-run game, puts the double play on the table. And here's Ruckert. Who, after a ground out to second, which is exactly what the Brewers are looking for here, has singled twice. Rather singled once with a strikeout and that ground ball. Joe Call has the two singles and now his second retirement. This time via the punch out. Punch out belongs to Ruckert as well. His last at bat, he's got a no one count against him. Tauchus on deck, who's left the yard. And we'll see what they want to do with him after he gave up a run in the first, a run in the fifth, and most recently a home run in the seventh. Right now, he's got the quality start. He's got seven innings. He's got three runs on eight hits. Hits creeping up a little bit. But he's also got seven punch outs. And he hasn't... He has walked two, so make that 10 base runners. Shoot foul. intrusive thought coming into my head is this place seems like a nightmare to get out of after the game's over, right? One lane, but also a beautiful place to take in a game. We've had the pleasure of having two. Great crowd on hand. Yeah, that's that's going to be something. There is two, okay. We're plotting, we're plotting. Foul tip here. We still got tear down here. And we still have two more outs here in the top of the eighth and now a mound visit. Second pitcher of the game for the Brewers, Zinda. Second inning of work. Trying not to surrender a run. Every run that's come across has been followed by a home run trot. Solo. Three run bomb. Two run bomb.
Wave and a miss. Back-to-back -back punch outs with runners on the corners. And from no outs to two outs, here is Matt Tauchis, which still I haven't seen action in the Billy Go pen. I assume it'll be the eighth inning for him. He would love for it to be more than three runs. He's got three runs to his name in the RBI category via his fifth inning homer. Zinda trying to strand two runners. And he draws a swinging strike. Off the end of the bat. This is blooping. It's saying up for a tumbling grab in center. Mike Leidenfrost is going to take away surely one run as he'll end the inning robbing a hit from pitcher Manning, robbing a hit from pitcher Matt Tauchis who is in line for the victory through seven and a half we head to the bottom of the eighth in a 6-3 contest led by Buckman. It is indeed Matt Tauchis trying to work on his eighth inning. The third baseman fell and then throws wild. It's off the edge of the first baseman's mitt. Boy, he took a Ben Thoma, fell on the infield as he was lunging to make his first move towards the ball. Still made the play, but then was just a little bit off kilter to his throw, which we've seen caught on the other side by Joe Call. This one just too far off the mark. And that is indeed an error. It's going to be not on the fielding play. It's going to be on the throw. And E5 matches the E1 from earlier. But like earlier, the Billy Goats are trying to not have that come across. But that is a first pitch out to all of a sudden a first pitch base runner via the air. This pitch is on the kneecaps for a strike. And Crucials, after the E5, watches the same pitch for strike two. It's Leidenfrost on deck who just made what could potentially look back on as maybe a game-saving play. If they can get potentially three runs here, staying alive, foul tips this at the plate. Two strikes, runner on first after the E5. Brewers have not committed an error, but they trail by three, and now they've got five outs to work with. It is the ninth punch out for Tauchus. I mean, talk about the day for Mac Cummett, but when you tack on a win and nine strikeouts along the way, it might be hard to grasp player of the game from the starting pitcher right now, who also is homered. Comet, though, does have two, although they have the same RBI total. 
One out, E5, and then a strikeout swinging. And the swinging theme continues. Lyden Frost has two of these strikeouts. Six runs, 12 hits, but now the second air committed by Buckman. Brewers, three runs, eight hits. All three runs have been batted home. That was a disgusting pitch. Came back around, back door, and froze him for strike two. Outside of an error, he's looking at the remnants of an immaculate inning. 0-2, oh, and there it goes, move point. One and two. Skied, shallow, he doesn't see it in the lights. He doesn't see it, it's dropping for a base hit. Center fielder immediately called, threw his hands up, didn't see it, left fielder too far over, and by the time Gertz got out there from short, it dropped in. Lights playing tricks at a time, you're not laughing too hard, because the tying run is to the plate now, and air, and that goes in the books as a ninth hit, but those in attendance know that probably should have been caught. Tout just looking for help. Tying run at the plate. It's Stuckmeyer who has had a nose for getting on base. And now Tout just having issues with Comet. They'll talk. Thought I saw some cars leaving. You might want to turn around. This one might not be over just yet. Tying run on base, although two outs. That could have got him out of the inning. In fact, two different plays this inning could have got him out of the inning. Alas, it's first and second. And the game hinges on this at bat. Infield is in, uh, sorry, outfield is in. So they're going to come up throwing if this is a single of any sort. And it's Tomahawk foul. And they're also, I think, looking at the scouting report here, seeing Stuckmeyer's kind of just been dinking and dunking, although effective. They're betting on him not going over the head of their three outfielders who are almost staggered by shallowness from left to right. It's the most shallow over and right from new man Jarrett Prockett who already had one drop in front of him without calling for it. So Buckman has had an adventurous game, to say the least. Well, they are clinging to a 6-3 lead. They once trailed 1-0. Have not trailed since. Pitch home, a strike. And now final strike of the inning, potentially 1-2. and two. It's starting pitcher for Peters, Schomer on deck, who's currently on the hook for the loss. Boy, would he love to be the potential go-ahead run should he see an at-bat. Outside, we're even at two. Tried to work its way back, but dancing out of the way. It's full. Runners are going to get a head start. Tauchus's body language starting to slump, but he is just a pitch away from two things. Extending the inning or getting out of it. Here's the delivery. He deals ball four. It's the go-ahead run coming to the plate. Tying run at first base. And, yeah, I thought there was only... I guess there's only one out um, scoreboard. I was right there with you, but now it's one out. Base is juiced up. And we have got another mound visit, and I think they're saying how many mound visits can this guy get? Again, this was the conundrum we had earlier. He's also the manager. So this is playing out in front of our eyes as... Looks like both managers are taking issue with what they're allowed, and, well, 
That's also the manager's uncle. So adding, are they saying he has to have someone come out with him representing the manager? Adding to the tension of the tying run being on at first, there's now a disagreement about how many mound visits this inning. Is he out there as the catcher? Is he out there as the manager? And now nobody seems too thrilled with the answer, but we're going to keep playing here for the next pitch. One out. Base is chock full. There's a strike. What a play by Cummins. Saves a run on the block behind the plate. So after the Stuckmeyer walk, one, one, top of the order on deck. Two and one, nowhere to put him. And what's left in the gas tank here for Talchis, who is at seven and a third and now laboring through bases loaded. Two, one, a shot foul. Two and two. Just caught a piece. We'll do it again. Top of the order on deck with speed. And we'll do it again. Battling. Both teams stacking up hits. 12 for the Billy Goats. Nine for the Brewers. And looking for a huge hit here. It has not been tied since it was 1-1. It has not been led by the Brewers since it was 1-0. Sticking the bat out. It's going to be a tough two. They go to second for one. That's going to be the only play. Run scores 6-4. Two outs in the inning on the RBI fielder's choice from Schilmer. <laughs> Schilmer helps out his earlier cause. Tying run on at first still here now with a 6-4 contest. Two outs. Roush is the potential go-ahead run, and if that's the case, they just need three outs in the top half of the frame. There's a strike. How about that at bat by Schomer? He fends off two hard pitches, just catches a piece, and then is going to fight off another pitch off the end of the bat and hustle out an RBI fielder's choice. Keep the inning alive. 0-1 is strike two. Roush has a single, a run scored. He's got two unassisted ground outs to first. He's been in front of pitches. He's also walked, and now he's going to try and get level here. Oh, he's taken off. Do they have him picked off? They're going to be more. That's a useless run at third. Why not get the in, Why not get the last out of the inning? Oh, I don't think that was a smart play at all. You've got the tying run now at second. You could have had him. And now, this is going to get away, and the tying run is at third at 6-5. And Tauchus nearly, I think he just got a warning from our home plate umpire as he barks toward him. I'm not sure if that was about maybe his own frustration or towards the ump, but kudos to our man behind the plate and not 
obviously completely altering the game by throwing it out, but he definitely gave him a point. And, I mean, Touches, I still am at a – I think he forgot how many outs there were. Why didn't he get the out to end the inning? This is going to get them out of the inning, though. But it, And he's fired up. 6-5, drama rises as two runs come across. And it's all down to the ninth. The Billy Goats hanging on. It's 6-5, tying run, nearly scampered home. Don't go anywhere. The final inning of regulation comes up after this. So we hurry into the ninth inning. It's 6-5. This game looks a whole lot different than it did a few innings ago. Six runs on 12 hits, two errors, and a couple more misplays defensively on top of that for the Billy Goats that show up as hits. The loss in the lights on a pop-up to center, the E5. Those both come around to bite him for a wild pitch. The pickle, that wasn't a pickle. And now the last chance for insurance here in the top of the ninth for the visiting Billy Goats. Good part of the order to have up. It's Gertz, Bozer, Thoma. Zinda has been borderline sensational out of the pen. He's got two scoreless innings. He's gotten his team back in it. They've been chipping away. But now job's not finished. He'll need three more outs and will try and have his team erase what's now a one-run deficit, which they have not had. It has been 4-1, 4-2, and this is pulled deep into the hole, stopping deep throw. He's got to make the tag, and they're saying it was around the runner. He's safe with an infield hit for Gertz, who has showcased his speed all evening. Second straight time he's reached. He got hit on the first, uh, rather, yeah, the first batter that Zinda saw out of the pen. Now he's going to greet him with an infield hit in the top of the ninth. So here's Noah Bozer, one for four, fifth time through the order here for the Billy Goats. There's a strike. <laughs> Guess who is coming up to lead off the bottom of the ninth? Missing one and one. It's Mr. Cycle Watch, Gunnar Wickland, who now does not have all the RBIs. He's got three fifths of them. As this is well struck, high and deep out to right field. He's calling his shot. It's gone. It's a bat flip. Third different man to homer for the Billy Goats. He launches it into the night sky. He points at his dugout and says, I got you guys. It's 8 5. First run surrendered by Zinda. And there have been some there have been some bat flips here for the Billy Goats. A no doubter again. 8-5. 
two home runs come at Bozer just launched. And earlier it was Tauchis. Bouncer to short. Another deep throw. This time it's on target and in time. Other one pulled him off the bag. I, they did give him a hit on that, and rightfully so. But that's going to be the first out right after the two-run bomb for Noah Bozer. I'm thinking, man, that's well struck. Man, the right fielder isn't turning around as easy. I take a look at Bozer, not even looking at the ball. He starts pumping up his dugout. He was right. It was launched. And now upstairs. And now, <laughs> guess who's on deck? This is, will this stay in? I don't think so. That's going to be launched foul. Matt Cummett is on deck. And, I mean, if there's two outs and the bases are empty, I do not see why a pitch comes across the plate to him. Single, home run, home run, four-pitch walk. Yeah, that hit the batter. Wicklin makes the play regardless. The one, two. Coming on deck, hasn't shed the knee pad. He's gonna have to, there's one out. There's no way he's not seeing an at bat. And he will show up right here. Swinging strikeout for Suska, who on a day of the, his teammates have 14 hits. He's unfortunately had an offer. This guy's the opposite of an offer. This is Matt Cummett. And, I mean, do you even dare? Pitch one. Well, change up there that draws the stare from Cummett. Catching the edge. What a pitch. Watching low. Cummett is just such a awareness of the strike zone is his sweet spot area. So after a strike, two straight balls. Uh, is he going to see a fastball? I'm not sure. 2-1. 3-1. Back-to-back -back walks. Four pitches, five pitches. And that is for Comet in his Played appearances consecutively. Here's Max Barclay, who's had a ground out into double play. He then had a hot shot to third as well. Then had a single, but had some questionable base running that had him pinch run for on the very next play. After he failed to get past second on a pitch, hit to the wall, hit to the wall. How about over it? It is gone. 10 5. Fifth home run for the Billy Goats. Sixth of our game. Max Barclay. No one's questioning his run around the paths after that nuke. He'll touch them all. Tally two more. It's 10 5. Zinda's given up two in the inning, and now he looks anxiously at his dugout like, what's the plan? And I think the ball's taken from him. He just needs one more out. Uh, maybe it was just a semi rub off of the ball from his manager. He just need he wants new baseballs, I think, is the word, but 
How about the home run party? Max Barkley, you've been served. Two run shot. That's our first bomb out to left. We saw one off the fence. Every home run's been shot out to right for the Billy Goats. Had the straightaway center one for Wickland, and it's not a tough way to go. It's only 370 to dead center. Hitters park, and man, have these guys walked in with an appetite. <laughs> I mean, now they're just, these are some home run derby swings. Missed that one, one and two. What well, was a tension filled bottom of the eighth? Hey, are they, you know, can they get some insurance? Uh, they called up farmers. This is off the end of the bat. This is trouble. Base knock. And from bad to worse for the Brewers. And it keeps on piling on here. Single for Joe Call. Sixteen hits. A lot of them homers. Here's Ruckert. Third hit for Call. They've all been singles. So Joe Call will get pinch run for two outs, wave and a miss. <laughs> Bouncer, third baseman, throws it right by his man at first. Second to third, that is an E3, E5, that is the first of the game against the Brewers, and just confidence has evaporated from the home side here. As it's the top of the order, and a man who's already left the yard. And now, oh, they're saying, hey. I thought it was maybe a pitching change. Nope, this will just be between manager, pitcher, catcher. And I'm sure this just goes along the sides of nothing you can do about that. You know, an error is an error. Hey, we just need you to get one more out. You got this. This is your batter. This is your inning. Let's get this out. I'm mad living. But it's a lot of the same coach speak. And unfortunately, he's going to look for an out. At the top of the order for a sixth time through the order, beginning here with Matt Taugis. Who, my word, is he going to have the ninth? I mean, why not? Why not? I guess. Labored through the eighth, but now it's up to five again. That's actually their largest lead of the game. So it looked like high drama, and all of a sudden, the largest lead of the game has opened up in the top of the ninth here. And Pierce. And now strikes are evading Zindo with a base open at first. Three and oh. Four-pitch walk after the mound visit. Here comes Lane Gertz. And there's nowhere to put him. And now this, the command is just gone. Batting around here in the ninth, Buckman. Strike called, one and one. So, man, Gunnar Wickland leading off next thing would have been a whole lot more ominous as this, I say in italics, should do it, and it will. My word, 
The home run party continues for the Buckman Billy Goats, their largest lead as they put up a four spot in the top of the ninth. They need just f uh, three outs. Four outs would be interesting. I guess he would have to strike him out with a wild pitch. And just want to see who's going to get the nod for the ninth here but before we take a short break. And we will indeed have our first pitching change for the Billy Goats. We'll tell you about them here after a short breather. It's 10-5, potential final three outs after this. Okay, so taking care of some defensive arrangements for you is we've got the new pitcher, Ben Thoma, who was the third baseman. He is going to now be pitching to try and close this out up five. Matt Tauchis who's in line for the victory. His final line, five runs on nine hits. Not all of those were earned because of the two errors committed behind him, but he is in line for the victory. So it's going to be kind of an ugly line, but with more to the box score, so to speak. He moves out to center, so that shifts prior center fielder Andrew Ruckert over to right and then over at third is Max Barkley who was DHing just hit that missile out to left he's going to play the field for the first time keep an eye on that as he'll man the hot corner and then that should do it for the defense here as Thoma moves yep so Thoma moves from third to the mound. And then the prior pitcher touches out to center, slides Rucker over to right. And then Barkley comes in, which means that'll be it for Travis Call, who leaves the game. Well, here's Wickland, who is a triple shy of the cycle. He just left the yard in his left last at bat. Six total home runs in this game, five belong to the Billy Goats, one to this guy. And he'll fire a strike across. Thoma in relief. Billy Goats have an excellent staff. It's not like they're just tossing some guy in there to try and groove three outs across. Thoma showing his showcase of stuff here. A little fastball change up mix. 1-1. One, one. Fastball is low. 2-1. and one. I mean, Wickland, talk about a tough out. He's not going to go up there just hacking. Has a serve at this one, and it's fouled back. Three outs needed, up five. Come at two homers. Talchus a three-run homer. Two-run homer for Noah Bozer, and then a two-run homer for Barkley. Wickland out to left, and it'll be caught for the first out. Hauled in by Noah Bozer, who if I already... Didn't mention him. He, too, had a home run. Well, that is probably the scariest out you have to deal with in the inning. It's prior to that three-hit man, Gunnar Wickland, who gave it his all there out to left. But it was shy of the track, late on a fastball. Thoma, two outs away. He's going to deal now with a pinch hitter. But this is for the second at-bat for Jared Procott, who took over in right field and now takes a ball. So Procott came in for Chuck Bozer, who had one hit, and now a swinging strike. And he's got him 1-2.
swing and a miss. We're down to our final out here in Piers. We'll have a very brief recap of the contest. Maybe a player of the game shout out and bid you adieu as we begin our treks variously back home. So another pinch hitter here trying to liven up things late. This is Jesse Marshek. And he'll watch a pitch skip in. Mazurka would be on deck. This is Marshek batting for Zinda. And a pitch up 2-0. There's a strike. Two and one. Ten runs, 16 hits, two errors for Buckman. Five runs, nine hits, one error for the Brewers who are down to their final strike here at home in Piers. At risk of having only one Piers squad win tonight. And... As it stands, it's the Lakers in their 7-1 win earlier. This just catches a piece. Kind of tomahawking at that ball to stay alive. Choking up on the bat. Hitting circle for those that play MLB The Show. A little contact swing. And this is lifted to shallow center. Gertz wants it himself from the shortstop position. He puts it away. It's a home run derby in Piers, brought to you by the Buckman Billy Goats. They win it 10 to five as Comet goes deep twice. They failed to get him out. He was a perfect three for three. And then Bozer went deep. And then Barclay went deep. And earlier on, it was Matt Touches who gets the win with his eight strong innings from the starting pitcher position. For Logan Anderson, have a great rest. And our guy Curtis, of course, on camera. And thanks as well to Fox 9 and our guy Ahmad Hicks for stopping by earlier, the whole Fox 9 crew. Have a great rest of your Wednesday evening. This has been a doubleheader of the Town Ball Tour here on Fox Local, YouTube, and on the Fox 9 app. I'm Dylan Corbett signing off. Enjoy your Wednesday and the rest of the week. We'll talk to you later next week here on the Town Ball Tour.